back to my channel. I hope you are all enjoying the wonderful month of May. Can you guys believe that in four weeks, 2017 will be half over already? What happened? Where did this year go? Anyway, today I wanted to share with you guys my quarterly channel review and how much I made on YouTube. If you're gonna get an in-depth look at my analytics, uh, which means like my watch time, my views, my likes, dislikes, all that good stuff. If you don't know exactly how to get to your um, analytics and your creator's homepage, I will show you in this video. But without any further ado, let's compare the month of January to April of 2017 in my YouTube analytics. All right, you guys are now seeing what I see when I type in my YouTube homepage. To get to your creator studio and analytics page from here, what I like to do is click right here on Video Manager. It just shows you a little bit of the behind the scenes of your channel. From here, you will see the Creator Studio. Go ahead and scroll down. You'll see Dashboard, Video Manager, Live Streaming, Community, Channel, Analytics. Go ahead and click your analytics. Essentially, we're going to be comparing the first 30 days of this year to the last, most recent 30 days of this year. So once you get to the overview, go ahead and click comparison. And then you will see two areas to leave your calendar. We're gonna change the bottom one to the last 30 days. It shows the last 28 days. Let's change it to the last 30 days. And then let's change the initial calendar Go to January 1st, and then because we did the last 30 days, we'll do the first 30 days. Apply. Everything that you see in blue represents January. Everything you see in orange represents April. So if we scroll down, we'll start with watch time. Go ahead and give it a click. And the best way to read this, they will have charts down below, but I like to just use this graph, right? Oh, sorry. I just use this table. This is a lot easier to read than down here to me. It shows me that my total watch time was just over 8,000 in January and then 111,000 in April. It just shows you comparison of the views and then YouTube red watch minutes and views because these are different. These people actually pay to have a YouTube subscription which makes their views a touch more valuable. So from watch time, let's go back. Let's take a look at average view duration. What this essentially is saying, let this load for a second, is that back in January, people watched an average of 33% of each video, which is about 2 minutes and 21 seconds. Now, they watch about 47% of each video I put up, which on average is about four minutes and 54 seconds. If I come down here, I can put my mouse over top of these weeks and it will show me what videos got the most watch time. There we go. Good, good. Audience retention is very important to YouTube as they like you to keep your viewers on the site longer. Let's go down to views, let's click on views. Okay, again, we kind of already got into this with the watch time. This is actually the same page, so we won't worry about this again. Let's go back. Sorry, I keep forgetting that watch time and views are pretty much on the same charts. Then let's jump over to the one you probably all are excited to see, that is estimated revenue. Total estimated revenue in January, I made $5.04 between regular ads and YouTube red ads. And in the last 30 days, basically through all of April, it's jumped up to $84.18. And here's the regular ads and then YouTube red ads. And I did not receive uh, a paycheck on March 21st. Yes, that's the date, March 21st. So. This money plus my February will come in April on the 21st because that is YouTube payday. 
And then if we look down below, we won't click onto these because they're pretty self-explanatory. My likes went up quite a bit. And then, same with the dislikes, went up quite a bit. Comments, you guys are being so much more engaging. That's so great, I love talking to you guys. Please leave me comments. Shares, now this is amazing because I don't know if I ask anybody to share my content anywhere, but this is great. Thank you guys so much. My videos are going into many more playlists and then subscribers are jumping up. I gained 60 subscribers in January and it jumped up to 353 in uh, April. I keep wanting to say August. Then when you are done with all of your comparisons, come up here and click cancel comparison. It'll take you right back. And then if you wanna leave your creator studio and you wanna go back to your front page, thank you, you click your dashboard and then you click right here under your name and it says view channel. I hope you guys like my small tour into the world of YouTube analytics. I know it's not as impressive as like the big YouTubers in there, but it is still nice to use that comparison option just to see how you've grown. If you haven't done it to your own channel and you wanna see how far you've come, it's actually really motivating to see, okay, here's where I was three months ago, but here's where I am now. Today's YouTube channel tip, because I'm gonna try to give tips every month, that way you guys can ask questions and we can kind of have a conversation for those people trying to also grow their channels. Today's tip is going to be focus on small goals and make these goals not associated with views and subscribers because the biggest reason I'm seeing people kind of burn out and leave YouTube is they're comparing themselves to these millionaires who have hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of views, they've got so many followers, they're selling merchandise, they're going on tour, they're writing books, they're starring in Netflix shows. If you compare yourself to that, you're going to feel very behind. So I recommend focus more on your quality of content. For example, rather than saying, I want a million subscribers in the first month, that's adventurous, say, I want to make 10 good quality videos. I want my content to be good. I want a good channel banner. I want to set aside 10 minutes every day to write back to all my commenters. Setting those small goals will help you, you know, stay focused and motivated. If you have any questions about how to grow your YouTube channel, please leave them down in the comment section below. The first week of every month, I will kind of dedicate one video to like an update on my channel and then I will let you guys know what worked for me, what didn't work, kind of like show you the way and maybe keep you guys from making any YouTube mistakes or point you in the directions of things that did work. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a nice thumbs up if you enjoy taking a look at analytics. And if you have any questions, whether or not they pertain to YouTube or May or anything at all, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you are new to this channel, please click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. I am also told to tell you to click on this little bell that is next, next to the subscribe button, if I could speak. Some people are asking how to get notified when I live stream. I'm going to try to get better at posting it on my Facebook my Instagram, and I now have a Twitter. I never thought I would have one, but I have one now for you guys. Um, but if you wanna be notified on YouTube and you wanna make sure you're gonna be notified, click the bell, which is down below, also by the subscription button. It'll update you every time I have a video or a live stream. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.